That's the way we do it. Every Saturday, folks, from 1 to 3 p.m., this is Roots Rock Reggae Live with me, the Soul Rebel. And I certainly want to thank you all for joining us today. We have a fantastic show planned, lots of... Um, that's like good reggae music as always, so yeah, sit tight to jump around. Whatever you like to do, get ready to do it all. Kicking us off is Ernest Wranglin, master guitarist and longtime reggae and jazz man coming all the way out of Jamaica. That's a great track, uh, 410 San Miguel, an album that was done with our brothers and sisters in Cuba. Uh, we have some guests coming through today, so, you know, it's going to be a nice show. Also, want to remind you all to jump over to TacomaRadio.org and give. Give whatever you have. This is our fund drive, and we're trying to raise money for our lovely station, W-O-W-D. Listen, um, if you want to call, you can also do that, too. It's 240 uh, 696-4200. So get on your phones and do what you need to do and uh, see if you can find it in your heart and pockets <laughs> to support us. Well, here's some more music from the amazing Rafael Ponde, live out of Brazil, right here. And we got a little surprise for you coming right up. Yes, I. That's <laughs> 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 my jam. Okay. Um, play this one for my sister Ruby Blow down there in Atlanta today. She loved this track, and I want to hear you singing it all the way <laughs> right here. Yes. Um abraço, Roqueline, um abraço, Leonardo. <laughs> oh, people are on live streaming. Yes. Estamos aqui ao vivo na 94.3. Live. Brasileiro, represent. Big up, big up. Yes, I. <laughs>
You know, Sade is my favorite. So oh. to hear Love is Stronger Than Pride live like that, it's really beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Highly. Folks, we have Rafael Ponde in the studio. Um, he is a musician coming out of Brazil and just happens to be uh, chilling in the D.C. area these days. So, you know, I thought it would be wonderful to touch bases with our brothers and sisters in that part of the Americas and to learn a little bit about him, learn about his music, his interest in reggae music and his influences and certainly also learn a little bit more about Brazil. You know, Brazil is such an important country, especially for folks in African diaspora. It is the place where most Africans live outside of the continent of Africa itself. Most people that came, most African descended people that came to the Americas actually ended up in Brazil. So although folks in Jamaica and the United States like to think that everything begins and ends with them, <laughs> it's not so. <laughs> when you come on to African descended people, that is Brazil in this region. Welcome, Rafael. Thanks for coming through. Thank you so much, Diane, for having me here. Yeah. It's a pleasure. So rebel. Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's always nice to to have guests and certainly happy to have you. So what got you interested in reggae music? How did you get started with that? You know, my city, uh, Salvador, as you, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. is very important for the African diaspora. Mm -hmm. We are the first port in the Americas, if I'm not wrong, founded by the Portuguese mm -hmm. around 1530, 1539, mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm not wrong, but yeah. very early in the, in the colonization. Yeah. So we, are, we have this strong bond with Africa for for forever, and we in the in the in the end of the seventies, we had a movement there in Salvador Bahia, uh, a black movement uh, influenced by the movement here in America, mm -hmm. where uh, block blocks like Ileaye, Olodum, mm -hmm. they started the movement of the percussive music or the drum drums, mm -hmm. so has been said uh, it was created a, a style called samba reggae ah, yes. which is a mix between the samba our brazilian identity national identity right. of samba with mm -hmm. the reggae because of these afro diasporic movements between brazil uh, bahia and africa so this was created in the in the end of the 70s there and uh, so everyone in bahia is very related with reggae and with the, their African descent uh, influence, you know, because we are just 80% of the population. Mm -hmm. Even me with this color, I have yeah. I have percentage of African. Of course, of course, I can see it in <laughs> your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, darling. So, yeah, so this is the way I got, I got in a very young age, mm -hmm. I, I, I used to walk in the cent historic center of my city mm -hmm. and to hear this beautiful music, how, how one can, you cannot uh, walk without notice that that right. music and the music get into your blood mm -hmm. and then once you start to hearing it so everybody in this in this place hear reggae mm -hmm. because they are highly influenced by reggae mm -hmm. so i started to listen and then i got educated in english for when i was 12 or so and i got and i started to understand what the lyrics was ah, said and mm -hmm. it was powerful you right know? yes yes so still today like uh, 25 years later, I'm still very uh, highly impressed and influenced by, by the lyrics of Bob, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mostly Bob and the Jamaican singers. Yeah. Is Bob Marley like the biggest um, um, star um, uh, in Brazil? Bahia. Yeah, in Bahia. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's the man. He's huge in Bahia. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah. His yeah. kids are, are still touring. Do they come to Bahia sometimes? Mm, I don't know. I, I guess couple of them might mm -hmm. be in Bahia in the 90s, but mm -hmm. not, it's not very common. Mm -hmm. Although, in the end of the 90s, I, had a, I, had a, I, I, I was a part of a Bahian reggae band, mm -hmm. very famous one called Giamba, mm -hmm. and we opened for a lot of Jamaican acts there, so I got the opportunity to, to play with Gregory Isaacs, oh, nice. with Dennis Brown, 
with um, folks from the uh, groundation, uh, Zig and Miley once. So a lot of still posts, a lot yes. of those people, they came to Bahia to perform nice. in, the, in, the, in the end of the 90s because the, there was a, like a reggae ever. Uh, 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 yeah. A frivolization, yeah, yeah. resurgent. Yeah. Yeah. I know that, um, for example, Jimmy Cliff actually uh, moved to Brazil, and I think he still lives there. He and, uh, he lived he, in Salvador for a long time. Yeah, he had a song called Samba Ray. Yes, yeah. yes. So you know, when you talk about that, it definitely remind me of um, his work there as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been um, traveling through the states? My. My my history with this country began began in 2014 mm -hmm. when I was um, invited here by a, by a, a company in in Gainesville, Florida called S Connection. Mm -hmm. They invited me to come and do an exchange. So I I I had a grant. I I got a grant in by your government to come here and spread the Brazilian culture and music. Mm -hmm. So this was 2014. So I got attached to this country because once I arrived here, I toured the East Coast and I met so many like special musicians and, and people, just nice people, you know, yeah. people uh, wanting to do the same thing as, as, as I wanted, mm -hmm. as I still want to do, which is music, honest music, talking to the the, the truth as, as much as I, we can to the people, you know, mm -hmm. like... I'm trying to 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 give some education through music too. Right. That's mm -hmm. our mission. So do you play in the area? Like, at, uh, can people find you performing in different places? Yeah. So now I just moved here. I'm living here in DC for for three months now, and I'm playing a lot. I'm playing a lot at a place called Bossa. Uh -huh. and Bossa. Okay. Bossa. That's and in Adams Morgan. Yes. Mm -hmm. And actually tonight I have a concert in in Tropicalia, which is another place in the Fourteenth Street. We play there, me and myself in the West Philadelphia Orchestra. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing very good here. Yeah, it's fantastic, folks. Look, this is the only place that you could meet uh, a wonderful musician like Rafael Pondé. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you appreciate it. And as a thank you for your donation today, because look, it's a fun drive. So break out your pockets and give something to the station. But as a thank you for fifty dollar donation today you will receive a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc with custom WOWD label from City Winery in Ivy City. So please call us at 240-696-4200. That's 240-696-4200 and give something. And for $50, you get a nice bottle of wine. Look, let us hear a little bit more of Rafael Ponde's music, and uh, this one is called Africa Dub. You want to tell us a little bit about oh, this one before we play Oh my God, it? thanks for choosing this one. <laughs> this is um, a song where I, I, I talk about my, my hometown, mm -hmm. and I talked about Zumbi, which mm -hmm. is a warrior from the 16s. Mm -hmm. he, he was, uh, still today, he's very famous in Brazil. He was a, a black ex former slave mm -hmm. he went to a hill and he formed a society there mm -hmm. with people in the in the 16th century 17th century and then he was very successful in that in, in, in getting people together in working like a part of the system the, the oppressor system so I praise him in this song nice I, I call him Africa as zumbi like right. he, he's his meaning so and I talk about little movements uh, movements uh, about the Bahia the characteristics of Bahia too all right, well, let's, let's give it a, a listen and um, and folks while you're listening you can still call or jump online it's tacomaradio.org to give and support our fun drive 240-696-4200 here's Rafael Ponde Africa Dub oh Africa yes And I also say that our memories, the memories of our people, just was passed by year. It was not written in the that's story. True, that's so true. I thought about that. Right, so, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Zumbi, Bangtown, Oroto no Carnaval, O Salvador, 